Hi, my name is Michelle Sinclair. I'm doing a documentary about my father, Terry Kask, who is the lead guitarist of the pop band in Chicago. He passed away when I was only two years old, and I never really got a chance to know him. So I decided to take this journey on discovering my father and also giving him the recognition he deserves as a guitarist, which I felt he never really got. Jimi Hendrix is even quoted as saying that this guitarist is better than me and ended up taking him on the road with him. I'm making this documentary about my father, not only to, to give him the recognition he deserves as a musician and a singer, but also to discover who he is as a person because I never got to know him. With the success of our first Kickstarter campaign, I was finally able to begin production of this film and take this incredible journey of getting to know my father. Over the past two years, I've traveled to Chicago to visit the neighborhood he grew up in, along with the schools he went to as a boy, and visit the streets where he honed his craft, and also spend time with my uncle, his brother. I sat down with the original members of the band Chicago and listened to great stories about the road, amongst other things. It gave me the opportunity to sit down with the people that knew him intimately and spent more time with him than I ever had the chance to. Their stories, along with my experiences in making this film, came together to paint a grand portrait of this man. So now for the first time we have a little sneak peek of the film, um, which I'm really excited to show you some of the stuff we've worked on over the past two years. Jerry was this big, bigger than life Norwegian. He was actually one of the more amusing guys I've ever met. He was, I think, the heart and soul of the band. In your face type of a personality. He was a kind, loving man. And his friendship was just something that you treasured. Terry was a big teddy bear. It was a very experimental time in music. Hendrix was completely dumbfounded by Terry's. Well, when we first heard, heard Jimi Hendrix play, we, we thought he was sounding like Terry. He was sitting on the stage, he was just playing. And I said, you just want to go out? We're going to goof around for a while. I said, no, I'll catch up or something. Came back about six hours later. He was still playing. <laughs> then he approached the guitar upside down. Terry was a really good musician. There just didn't seem to be anything he couldn't do. It's a sound that no guitar player could get. We've never heard anything like it. How in the world does he get a guitar to sound like that? And this dude is off the charts, man. The years leading up to your dad's demise were affecting all of us. I, I remember, <clears throat> excuse me. Do you want to go? Do you want to go there with this? And there are very few people that I would feel comfortable enough talking in these terms in any way, other than with you. No, do you, but, do you, but do you want to know the, the real truth? Yeah. Says, yeah, you know, Terry was playing with the gun. There's that little stupid little automatic he had. And once we realized that there was, it was becoming a problem. I mean, we butt heads because I used to get angry with him about doing too much drugs. Still haunt me 